Time to learn some stuffing about Thanksgiving. Let's talk about that. <laughs> I'm Stephen Galindo from Plant City, Florida, currently deployed to Camp Beer in Kuwait. Good mythical morning. Good mythical morning. This episode is brought to you by Smuel, makers of the amazing karaoke application, Sing with the exclamation point. Thanks to all of you who have submitted your Squirrel Rights cover. That's a karaoke version of our song through Sing. We're going to announce the winner next week. In the meantime, you can go on to the Sing application and you can probably find some song and some artist that you like singing along and then pass it along to your friends to impress them with your vocal abilities. Okay, for those of you who are interested in it, uh, Thanksgiving, Turkey Day, happening tomorrow, bam, it's really going to happen. Or if you're watching this the next day, it is the day that it's happening and you're like, getting down with the oh, turkey and the dressing nice. right now. Or if it's the day after you're recovering and you're watching this, and but you're still learning something, all of you are gonna be rewarded. I don't think you have to take into the con take into account the context of every audience member watching. If it's the I day after that, it's like Saturday. What, and what about international people who don't celebrate Thanksgiving? And then, then you just, you're just, just glad to be here. Stop just because, watching now? Nope, don't. Just stop watching now. We, this that's, is gonna be that's good. bad. That's bad. It's gonna be good for everybody. Keep watching and learn something about Thanksgiving. All right, here's what I've done. I've amassed, courtesy of Huffington Post article, um, some interesting facts about Thanksgiving, but I've twisted these in such a way as to make them into questions that I wanna ask you, right? Having not seen this article that's in my hand. I haven't seen it, man. If any of you watch Rhett much, you, you realize that he takes the stance of kind of knowing stuff. Everything, you mean. You said it, so now I'm, I'm just, okay. If, if you know stuff, then answer these questions about Thanksgiving. I don't know a lot about Thanksgiving, so let me, let me be No, don't hedge. Let me hedge a little bit. I don't no. know a lot. If I get any of these right, it'll be impressive to you. All right, so I've got, I've got uh, roughly eight questions. Hold here. on, and usually when I play a game with you, I get you win something. I offer something at the beginning. I'm like, we'll go get ice cream if you get That's all right. these right. Okay, if if you get these right, I get a twink. Uh, I'll 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 spend my Thanksgiving with you. Well, that's already been planned. We we will be together on Thanksgiving. Our families. I'll, I'll be happy about and it. Some other families. I'll be happy about. You'll it. You'll enjoy your Thanksgiving if I get all this right. Yeah, with you. Well, the chances of me getting this these all right are so slim. So give me if I get fifty percent right, you will enjoy Thanksgiving. Okay, that's it. Otherwise, what? I, I seem like Scrooge. First question. It, this, ma this makes no sense, by the way. See if you can answer at home. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. It doesn't have to. After the first at not out. Shoot, I can't even read my question. True. True. It's not true or false. It's an open-ended question. Oh, at the wow. first Thanksgiving, which is I'm referring to the three-day meal shared between the Pilgrims and the Wapanoag yep. tribe yep. in 1621. I knew all those facts. How did they prepare their turkey? Uh, there was no turkey at the first Thanksgiving. It was a myth. Go, 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 go. There was no turkey in the first. You're right. <laughs> There's no evidence that turkey <laughs> was eaten at all. It is more likely they ate venison, which is deer meat. Of course. And a lot of seafood, which is food from the sea. Question two. <laughs> which table utensil was not present at the first Thanksgiving feast? which is the three-day meal share between the Pilgrims and the Wapanoag tribe in 1621. Well, I'm sure there weren't chopsticks, but you, you want me, you're thinking of something more specific. A common American table utensil. Well, there's only three common ones, and that's a fork, spoon, and a knife. And I would say that there's- This is not who wants to be a millionaire. You don't have to like drag this out by thinking through can your it, thought Can process. I buy a vowel? Okay, obviously they had knives there. So it's either the fork or the spoon, and I would think that there were no forks. <laughs> You're right. <laughs> uh, what did they use to eat a meal with? A knife, a spoon, and their fingers. Yeah. The fork was not brought by the pilgrims. That's right. Governor Winthrop of Massachusetts introduced it 10 years later, but it did not really catch on until the 18th century. Oh, I knew that. Number three. As has been demonstrated. What do you mean demonstrated? Go ahead. Number three. When browsing the TV dinner section of the grocery store, why, Rhett, are so many of the frozen meals there versions of the Thanksgiving meal? That's good. Is um, that, 
Why are so many frozen dinners of the Thanksgiving variety? Yeah, why are they the Thanksgiving, you know, turkey dressing. You know, you've seen it. Frozen TV dinners. Because gravy freezes very well. <clears throat> no, <laughs> you got that one wrong. In 1954, um, Swanson made their first TV dinner. And before then, it wasn't even called a TV dinner. They didn't invent the TV dinner. They just invented the name and marketed it as TV dinner. But it was a result of a severe overabundance of turkeys that they, Swanson makes turkeys. They had 260 tons of turkey that they needed to get rid of. So they decided to bust it down in little sections and freeze it as TV dinners. And then they, the, the genius was they marketed it as TV dinners because of course in 1954, the television was the big craze. So they said, you're supposed to eat this in front of a television, we'll call it a TV dinner. People snatched it up and just gobbled it up like crazy. Nothing in there about gravy? 98 cents per package. Nothing about gravy in there. Can't win them all. Swanson invented the TV dinner. I'll take the fourth question for 200, Alex. How does turkey make us sleepy? Tryptophan. Be more specific. It's a hormone that... Uh... No matter of fact, don't be more specific. You're wrong. It doesn't make you sleepy. Turkey does not make you sleepy, even though it has tryptophan in it, which is known to make you sleepy. There's more tryptophan in soybeans, 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 <laughs> parmesan, and pork. You don't know how much in turkey. I eat like a whole half of a turkey, though. <laughs> you eat a lot of pork too. I do. And you don't get You're sleepy. saying that more of the it's more from just a food coma in general. It's not from the tryptophan. It's actually more from the dessert. When you eat the dessert, you get you know all of the sugar in there. It just it gives you a crash, and then you're sitting there, and that with the combination of football, you know, you might as well be watching golf. So it's a myth that turkey makes you sleepy. It is. Yep. Even though the tryptophan, the tryptophan thing is kind of like a red herring. Yeah. Yeah. I think I get fifty percent on that one. Number five. At the first Thanksgiving, which is the three-day meal shared between the pilgrims and the Wampanoag tribe in 1621. I remember it. How did they prepare their green bean casserole? There was Shop no ball. green bean casserole. Yeah. That's right. See, I gave you that one. I figured you'd pick up on it. Green, be green bean casserole came into being 50 years ago. It was created by Campbell Soup. It was another marketing scheme to just sell the cream of what? whatever? Cream of beans. Cream of mushroom. Is it mushroom? Cream of beans. Yeah, cream of mushroom. And they sell yeah. twenty million dollars worth of cream of mushroom Some soup. Good stuff. Mostly to make the casserole. I could have that they... cream of mushroom injected right into my vein. I would just eat that right up. How many turkeys are consumed on Thanksgiving? Well, good question. And I'm not talking about the first one. There weren't any. Are you trying to embody a turkey or something? What do you think, people? Make your guess. 60 million within America. 60 million. <clears throat> nope. 46 million. Oh, that's pretty good. I went, into, a, I went into the... <laughs> it's not a bad guess. I just used simple statistics, Link. You could learn how to An also. estimated 46 million turkeys are eaten on Thanksgiving. That's more than double the amount eaten on Christmas, 22 million, and Easter, 19 million. In 2010, more than 244 million turkeys were raised, and about 226 million of those were consumed in the United States. Turkey is really giving it up for us. Turkey is giving it up. Give it up, turkey. I do not eat turkey. I eat ham. I don't like turkey. And I'm still a person. I'm still a human being. Yeah, but you're a weird person. I mean, you know, face it. You you're ought to have a piece of turkey. You ought to get a piece of turkey and two Twinkies and eat a turkey Twinkie sandwich. Just to overcome an invitation, this. An invitation Twinkie. We, got, we still got some of those cloud cakes. I'll make you one on, because we're gonna be together and you're gonna be having a great time. <laughs> 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 Ooh. Ooh. Wow. No, okay. When did Thanksgiving become an official national holiday? Uh, I know this is under uh, FDR's presidency. I do know this. Uh, ho 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 hold on, I do know this. <laughs> Okay. FDR, okay, first of all, no, no, no. FDR made it, he tried to make it the, the the second to last Thursday in Thanksgiving for the marketers, for for the retail sales, and it backfired and he had to move it to the fourth, the fourth Thursday in the month. You lost me, man, I don't even know what you're talking about. So like 1941. Ah. 
Thanksgiving only became a public national holiday in 1863 <laughs> in the midst of the Civil War. <laughs> Yeah, when, that's about eight, 1863 mm -hmm. sounds a lot like 1941. President Daniel Day Lewis declared it so. Number eight, at the first Thanksgiving, the three day meal shared between the Pilgrims and the Wampanoag tribe in 1621. 1621. How did they prepare their cranberry sauce? How? In the traditional fashion, they took cranberries, they boiled them down into a gel, <laughs> and to be specific, they didn't eat cranberry sauce. Uh, I gave it away. You changed your answer halfway through. That's right, though. They didn't. First Thanksgiving most likely did not involve cranberry sauce. I know I'm letting so many of you people down. While there was a plethora of cranberries for the pilgrims to feast upon, or a sugar. Corn or a cornucopia. Sugar was a luxury. They did not have the sugar. I do not have enough sugar to make it. I don't think that guy was at Thanksgiving. Cranberry. I don't think Chef Boyardee was at Thanksgiving, uh, the first Thanksgiving. Thanks again to Huffington Post for this article. Unrelated tin tidbit, the cranberry used, used to be called cranberry since it had flowerings that bared resemblance to the bird. It had flowerings. It flowered. That's awkward. Okay, let's move on. Let's spin the wheel and in this episode, we learned something today! I got more than 50% right. I'm and I'm happy about it! I'm gonna be happy tomorrow. It's gonna be a fun Thanksgiving, Link. What oh. if I stopped it? Could I do that? No, Would there be the like a public outrage to yeah, that? Yeah, that's way against the rules. Don't, oh, you might, oh. oh. No! Oh. Link knows something Rhett doesn't. Hey man. Hey, Thanksgiving's tomorrow. Yeah, yeah, I know that. I know something else too. You don't. <laughs> really? Yeah. Well, what is it? I'm bringing somebody. Surprise. To Thanksgiving? Yeah. A person? Yep, a person. Male or female? Female. Not your wife or your daughter? They're coming too, but it's not them. Grandma? Your grandma's coming? I'm not telling you. You have to wait and see. Who is it, really? Is it like a, for, a former? Do I know her? Would no, I would I call no, her by her first no, name? No, just, I, call you, her, I bet you couldn't even guess. Would I call her Mrs. something? How old is she? 40? Between 40 and 50. I'll, just, give, you, I'll give you one guess. Just guess. Paula Dean. That's right. 